Today I'm going to show you an application called OpenOffice.org, and um, it's going to be about the database, and also I will be doing a tutorial on Bento in my next video. You can download it from this website, download.openoffice.org slash index.html, and I will put the link to that on the right of the video. And um, this is where you'll download it by clicking right here. I don't want to download it because I'm pretty sure it's a long download. So I'm going to go here and open up openoffice.org. Once it's open, you go to database and open it up. Create a new database. Click next. Register it and create tables using the table wizard. Just name it test. The next part is to select the fields you want. So, like asset ID, barcode numbers, comments, whole lot of stuff you can add in. So, let's say we'll add in a asset category ID. Um maybe date sold, date acquired I guess, comments, there are tons of things you can add here. Okay, so employee IDs, make, model number, all sorts of stuff. Then click, or you, and you can also change this from business to personal, and then you also have categories, contacts, customers, liveries, all sorts of fields you can use. And just to mention, Open Office is a free application. So once you're here, okay, so once we have these here, we can change the field names to just let's say I'll change this to ID so it's easier. Then you can change the type, so image, binary, memo, text, numbers, decimals, all sorts of stuff you can change it. And then you can change the length of it. You can do this with all of these. And so then we'll go to next. You get a primary key. So just select auto value and then click next. And then you can name the table. I'll just keep it as test since this is a test. And then now you can start inserting data, modifying the design, and create a form. So let's just modify the design. So from here you can add a new section, so let's say price, and just click here and then we'll change it to number. Um, keep it as no, you can enter it later. Change the length, whatever you want. Since it's going to be a price, we might as well add two decimal places. And then here you can add a description, like price sold. We'll go ahead and save it. And yeah. Um, then you will go down if you minus I did and open up your um, database and then you're gonna have your table that you just created here then you can go to queries and everything is pretty much the same create forms so like if I want to create a form using the wizard I would just maybe I'd take it from my already made table you know, I'd add in like the ID, data sold, and stuff like this. This wouldn't really work, so you'd probably have a table um, for the things that you would want in the form that people would have to fill out. And then click next. This is subforms, so things insert in another form. And then you can add your subform fields. Again, since this is the only one we have right now, we'll add it from here. Maybe we'll put comments in there. And then you can get the join fields, so you can join things together, but we sent, we haven't joined any fields together, so we'll just skip that. Um, here's the arrangement of the main form that you can make. 
and you can just customize it. This way it looks a little more like, slightly more like Bento. And then you can set the data entry to display all data, and then you can go through this for your own needs. Then you can change the style, as a violet, bright blue. You can see it changing behind here. Make it flat, or you can make it 3D. And you can just fool around with these. They don't actually really matter. So it might be sort of obvious. And then we'll just do it next. And then you can name the form. You can work with it and modify it in. Most of the things are then the same. Then you can add things in here, like the ID, let's say two. Yeah. No, you're right, that's an auto field, so you can't change that. And then you can just add things in and stuff like that. So thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and go to my channel to see more tech videos. Okay, bye.